When you see fancy graphics in TV or online advertisement showing the heat generated by the car engine pistons, airflow over a plane wing, or a liquid-cooled PC water cooling system, all of that starts with engineering simulation software. But engineering simulation software is much more important than producing snazzy graphical representations. This lesson will cover the many benefits engineering simulation grants designers, engineers, and even students and teachers. All companies are concerned with saving time and money. Instead of using the time-consuming and costly process of building and testing physical prototypes, engineering simulation software is used to virtually iterate and optimize designs in a timely manner early in the product lifecycle. Say you are designing an F1 race car, and you need to ensure that drag on the car is minimized. The cost of manufacturing an F1 car is over $10 million, so we want to get it right on the first attempt. Using engineering simulation to verify designs before manufacture is a much more practical approach. Another major benefit of engineering simulation is that it can be used throughout the product lifecycle. This allows for the entire process to be optimized through ideation, design, prototyping, manufacturing, operation, and retirement. Its prevalence throughout the design process helps make critical business and technical decisions by predicting system behavior and analyzing future failure possibilities. In addition to time and money saving benefits, engineering simulation is used in many industries for safety reasons. Sometimes, physical testing is not possible or feasible, such as in the aerospace industry, automotive industry, and healthcare. Engineering simulation is also used to move innovation forward in areas such as 5G and 6G, autonomy, electrification, and sustainability. For example, think about the amount of time it would take to do physical testing of autonomous vehicles. It would take years to drive the miles needed to get results, whereas with engineering simulation, it can be done in a fraction of the time. Lastly, engineering simulation can be used to teach and learn physics topics. It allows students and learners to visualize stress or flow fields we usually can't see, which reinforce concepts and create a more engaging learning experience. Textbooks are useful, but when you can see the physics before your very eyes and control the inputs and outputs to change the results, that's when concepts come to life and are reinforced. In recent years, CAD software has become popular in high school curriculums. Years ago, simulation used to be taught at the graduate level, but has now found its place as a requirement and standard in many undergraduate engineering curricula. As digital transformation continues in engineering education and simulation products become easier and easier to use, we will see simulation become a core part of many high school programs too. It's exciting to think about how the impact of this will play out in the real world because more and more engineers and innovators will enter our industries armed to solve and create in faster and more economical ways than ever before. This will help us move transformation forward at a more rapid pace than ever before. This will play out in ways that can help us all, including, but not limited to, advances in healthcare, such as the way we perform surgeries, or develop medical devices, creating renewable energy and storage, more economical and high-performing electric vehicles, and so much more. In the next lesson, we will look at the relationship between CAD and engineering simulation.